name's Daniel Watkins, 29. Uh, I'm from Coppers Cove, Texas. I've moved away, came back a couple times. I came to Iron Right because I had met Josh and Duper from a previous shop early when I started tattooing. Uh, when I heard that they opened a shop, I had moved away and just really wanted to work with them again. Before Iron Right, I was in Alabama. Uh, I was trying to improve my tattoo career, but they just didn't have the same drive towards traditional tattooing, Japanese traditional tattooing, that I had in Texas. Um, I'd seen that Josh and Duper had opened a shop. We'd always got along and had the same drive and passion towards tattooing. Um, sometimes that's hard to find and I just wasn't getting that where I was, so I was eager to get back to Texas. When I first started tattoo uh, career or the passion for it, I was around 12. Uh, my dad went and got his like one and only professional tattoo. It's from my uncle. Um, before that, I had never really known anything about tattooing. And when I got there, uh, the shop was crazy. It was loud music. People were just getting you know weird stuff tattooed on them. It was early 2000s, and um, it was just cool. Like as a as a kid, I just didn't know know what was going on. Uh, in the end, it was extremely unprofessional. But like as a kid, it, it hooked me. So then from there I started getting tattoo magazines, just continued from there. I hung out at a tattoo shop as much as I could. Um, all through high school that's all I talked about. Teachers tried to persuade me not to go that route and uh, I didn't care. That was what I was doing. So uh, Smart teachers. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice when I bump into the teacher and now they're asking me for a tattoo. I had first started going towards American traditional pretty heavily and then uh, went with a little bit more illustrative stuff and now I think I came back to American traditional, Japanese traditional and um, I still really enjoy the intricacies of illustrated tattooing. As far as me tattooing the Japanese stuff, um, at first I wasn't really I didn't really get it and then after I drawn a couple I felt like my style had really came across that and I'd had a really good response that people were like oh you know like that looks fucking weird but I really like it so I was like okay like maybe I'll, I'll go that route so uh, it comes extremely natural to me I feel and uh, I enjoy researching it so I think that there's something there where I feel more connected to it somehow and I enjoy it and I enjoy putting those little things in it that make it more special, intricate. I've been asked before what I think my perfect client would be. Uh, I like being given some sort of direction. I don't want somebody getting something just because they think I think it's cool. I want to kind of know what they want and then just kind of let me take the ball and roll with that. Um, still want somebody to get what they want, but I want to work with them, not just slap something on them I want to do. Um, so I think open, but still a direction in their tattoo. With working with Elise at the shop, when we first started working together, of course, you know, I had my like, I don't know about this, but uh, we'd started working together in Alabama and it's been awesome. I feel like with tattooing, it's hard to find a significant other that can actually understand that like, 
when you're done tattooing at the shop, the job doesn't end. You still have to go home, you have to do reference, you have to draw, you have to wake up early to draw. And uh, it's really been amazing. It's been to the point where like, I don't know how people don't work with their significant others, as cheesy as that sounds. Uh, we make it happen, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, anytime we've had a rough day, it's cool, you know, like on a Friday the 13th when, you know, we're slammed, like we're both at the end of the day just like, whew, that was a lot, you know? And uh, it's cool having somebody that gets it, that we don't just sit in a chair all day. It is stressful, it's hard. You're marking someone forever, so there is that pressure. And by her working so close and seeing the other guys here doing the same thing, she really gets it and she encourages me and pushes me further. So it's been awesome. Outside of tattooing, like when I'm not at the, the shop, I mean, I'm big on games, but you know, not, not really video games, board games, stuff like that, arcade games. But, um, and in the end, I end up talking about tattooing all the time, even if I'm like playing a game or something, I'm like, oh man, that'd be a cool tattoo. Oh, you could do this. Um, as long as I can remember, I've always, tattooing is everything. Even on a vacation, you know, like all I want to do is get back to the shop and tattoo. Tattooing has gave me a direction, which is so weird. And maybe I feel like, I feel extremely lucky that I have that. Um, Without it, I don't know what I would do, or I, I've never really had another like passion. Tattooing has been it. Um, so it's gave me a direction and I've never wavered from it. I feel extremely connected to it. And it's really gave me everything.